Hey guys, Nick with Foresters. Today we're going to do a video on the 100 series box menorah spreader from New Holland. Uh, these are available from 145 through 195 sizes. Um, we'll tell you a little bit more about that later and we'll go over some of the options that are available in these spreaders. As you can see, this spreader is considerably smaller than the one we were just standing beside. This is a 155 series. There's actually one a little bit smaller than this. A couple options that are available on these are uh, the upper beater. So essentially, this is an additional beater compared to your bottom beater. It gives you a little bit more even spread pattern. It also allows you to heap your manure a little more compared to just having one lower beater. So on the 145 through the 195 series, um, you can get what they call mechanical drive. So essentially how this works is your PTO actually drives your apron. These are two speed. You have uh, clean, which will not run the beaters. It'll just run the apron itself to aid in the cleaning out. You have fast and then you have slow and then a neutral setting. So there's a rope that's tied to this that will go up to your tractor. So you pull that rope and then this ratchet, ratchet mechanism here will change your speed at which your apron's gonna run. Um, that'll aid in allowing you to fine tune your spread pattern and the amount of manure you're putting on the field. And then obviously it'll let you clean the spreader out whenever you're done. So in the 185 and 195 series spreaders, uh, you can get an optional hydraulic drive. So this will actually use your tractor hydraulics to drive the apron. Uh, this basically essentially gives you a infinite speed control so you can really fine tune the rate of manure you're putting down. You can use your tractor hydraulics as well as this ratchet mechanism here to change the speed of the apron and the rate at which your manure goes back to the beaters. Moving on to other options, uh, you have two options for tires. You have a recap truck tire or we can go to a flotation tire. This is the flotation tire. Obviously it's quite a bit wider than the recap truck tire. Uh, that'll help with compaction of the field and also help the manure spreader kind of float on top of the ground and not sink in and cause rust. Another option available is what we call front splash guard, which is this upper portion here. Uh, if you have sloppier manure, this essentially will keep the manure from splashing forward. If you're going down a hill or come to a sudden stop, uh, it just helps keep the machine a little cleaner, helps keep you a little cleaner. Another option available on these spreaders is what we call a fine litter pan. It's essentially a curved pan that'll stick under this beater. So if you're doing a chicken litter or um, a fine dryer manure, it'll just aid in spreading instead of it falling down out of the back and fall into that pan, the beaters will be able to catch it and send it into the field. Probably one of the most popular options that we get on the 100 series spreaders will be they call it an uh, end gate. So it's a, it's a hydraulic end gate that'll raise and lower down here and it has a rubber seal on the bottom. So if you have really sloppy wet manure, uh, when that gate is closed, it'll keep it from leaking out the back. Um, and then whenever you're ready to work in the field, you'll raise it up out of the way. It'll hold up here. Your manure will pass underneath it, back to the beaters. So that's just some information on the 100 series box spreaders from New Holland. If you guys have any questions on manure spreaders or any other farm equipment, give us a call 717-263-0705 or check us out.